Um, you must be really excited that you've just won a game on your debut and you're going to be playing your old pals at Motherwell next. <laughs> yeah, no, um, you know, first of all, I just want to say, you know, thank God that um, everybody got off the pitch at the end. Um, you know, with no injuries and um, because obviously football is a very competitive game, so so it's always good, fair play to see that nobody comes out uh, with any like serious injury. And um, yeah, your question, you know, um, it's always great to win. And um, yeah, you know, I've I come I've come here to um, uh, you know almost revive my career again, start all over again, and and um, there's no better way to start than you know winning in in a Europa League qualification and. Um, you know, so especially the way we did it today, you know, um, and um, like you said, so next one is a uh, too far park, Motherwell. So we, we already spoke with your my um, ex teammates there that they were like, you need to win. <laughs> How much are you looking forward to getting back to Fair Park? Yeah, I mean, um, I made a lot of uh, friends there, you know, um, funny enough, um, Steve Robinson was the one who you know, spoke to the guys here um, about me because, um, you know, um, you know, I was um, almost looking to go back there, but he's, he's, had, he's got so much midfielders, so, but he's helped me, so, and I've got really great, um, you know, friendship, and then we get along really well, so, and a few of just, yeah, the boys there, um, and the community there, I really want to go on over them, so it's going to be a, an exciting day. Will the friendships go out the window for 90 minutes? Yeah, absolutely. Um, as soon as you, you cross over the line, then um, it's a battle and it's a fight. And um, that's what football is. As I said, it's a competitive game. So um, the way to respect them um, is, 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 is to go on and, and be uh, competitive. Obviously, you know the level Motherwell are at. Gail said that you guys probably won't see yourselves as underdogs going into this game. How, how do you see it? Yeah, you know, um, Obviously, they've done so well last season, and um, you know, by this season they've not um, not really kicked on. Um, but you, you cannot underestimate them because um, uh, you know Scottish League, um, Sc uh, Scottish Premier League is quite tough. So for them to get into this stage, they you know they must they, they are a good team. And, and as they said, obviously we um, you should never go into. Um, as a player and as a team, you should never go into um, a game thinking with that mindset that we are underdogs. That's for the media, that's for the fans, for people to speculate about it. But, you know, there's 11 players versus 11 and it's one ball. So, you know, they're not superhuman um, and, and, and it all comes down on that day who wants more. And, and as we showed today, we, we are capable of, if it comes to, to Dig deep, we can dig deep, and uh, hopefully the condition will be better on that day. <laughs> How impressed have you been with the, the talent that you've seen at Glenshorn so far? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've only been here for like two weeks, so, um, you know, I um, just really want to say thank you for, you know, Paul and, and, and the gaffer um, for how they've, you know, received me and, and, and helped me. And the, and the boys are really, like, um, really nice and, you know, really caring, so... You know, it's, it's it's just been um, a breath of fresh air so far, and th there there is there is ability, you know, and I think sometimes, you know, um, it almost takes somebody to to speak to and um, like to speak to you and say, hey, you, you know, you're good enough, you know, you know, maybe somebody have not told you this, but you know, you've got potential, and you just need to, you know, for me like um, Rory um, uh, at number ten, you know, great talent, and it's almost like. He needs somebody to to give him that belief and you know and confidence. So we, we, we as we go along, we're gonna try to inject that into the team. So every day, every game, we go with with belief that you know we are a good team and um, in a respect way that we can compete with anyone. You mentioned kind of starting again, Gail, at this club. Can you just expand on that? Is it, is it a bit like sort of pressing the reset button in terms of your career? Because you're still only 26. You still have a lot of football left in mm. you. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, it seems like I've been in the football for <laughs> for decades, but uh, um, you know, but the past is in the past. Um, can't change that. And um, as most people probably think that I've come here, um, you know, to just use this as a stepping stone. But you know, um, you know, the gaffer and Paul have told me, that, you know, that what they the plan, and you know, and 
you never know the future. I wanna come here and, and make you know and make a change and be a part of, of helping Glentoran to you know to, to go into that period where they win trophies and stuff. And they've already started without me, so I'm just here to just help them. And and if I can help them, then you know it will it will bounce back um, and, and help me. Can Can you talk us a bit about? your career, Gail, because it's been an incredible career. Your player, he's played in the Premier League, for starters, for Newcastle. Obviously, we talked about Motherwell. Um, you nearly went to Rangers, Coventry. Just give us a flavour of what it's been like for you. Yeah, obviously, like, as everybody knows, you know, you know, to cut the story short, I just come from the Academy of Coventry. I made my debut at 17, and then, um, you know, there was few, so many interests, and then, obviously, um, with, with almost, you know, I, I put it down as a, you know, wrong advice. Um, you know, the best thing for me at that time would have been to stay at Coventry, um, even though we got relegated to League One. But as a, as a 17, 18 years old, I should have stayed there and uh, and build my foundation in the game. Um, but that didn't happen. I went to Newcastle, even though I got there my first year, I did well. I was in the Europa League. We did. We got into the quarter final. You know, you know I, I had some. Um, Great experience to play with players that when I was a kid, I, I thought by the time I make it to football, they probably retire, you know. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and, um, but it all comes down to me, I, I just, I, I was in a situation where I just kept pointing fingers, always oh, that manager, this agent, this person, this coach, but at the end of the day, you know, it's, um, you gotta look yourself in the mirror and, uh, you know, and that's what I've learned that, you know, I was probably immature and, and naive. Um, thought it, you know, I didn't go out partying and stuff, but just, you know, sometimes, you know, you, as you're young, you can become naive because, you know, you're going, you, you're playing at the top level of the game and, and everything is going well and um, you just, you just feel comfortable being around and you're in the reserve rather than thinking, you know, I need to get out here and go on loan. But you're just thinking, oh, my chance will come in the first thing, my chance will come because you just love the surrounding of this of the place. So, but yeah, now, you know, I'm 26 and I just want to play as many games as possible. And uh, like I said, I'm just help Glen to uh, be successful. Can I ask you what happened with Rangers, by the way? Uh, yeah, but as I said, just leave, just leave the purse in the purse. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But what is the goal then for, for you and the club this season? You know, this is to aim aim as high as possible. Um, you know, um, we've got we, you know the the, the board and the, the staff have recruited you know some you know experienced players um, and and we know old players. You know, so. You know, it's down to us and for us to stick together and um, take each game as it comes, and um, and in in training, just always continue to to improve. And then when it comes to games, you know, for me, I'm here. You know, I want to win. You know, the title. I want to win. I want to win the league. You know, if I, I if I if I shouldn't play football if I'm no ambitious. You know, uh, you play because you want to win every game. Um, and win as many titles and be successful. So, you know, God willing, the, the squad, um, we, like we get injury free, and then uh, we can go on this journey together and uh, see how how far we get.